Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this DeWalt 12 inch chainsaw. Model number DCCS620. This is the tool only, it does not come with a battery or a battery charger. It does come assembled, I just simply took it out of the box and this is what you get. It's got a really nice cover to cover the chain. Here's where you're gonna put the 20 volt max battery. It's got a really nice manual. The manual does have some really nice features I'll be talking about. One of the first things, you are gonna need some bar chain oil. This has a little chamber, a little uh, storage area for bar chain oil. There's a sight glass here. So you gotta turn this. This pops out. There's where you're gonna put the bar. So you're gonna, you're gonna put it like this. You're gonna fill that reservoir up with bar chain oil. I need to put it back together. Put it like that, turn that, and flip that down. It's got a nice sight glass. Now it doesn't have the real aggressive teeth like you might see on a steel chainsaw, but these do, are somewhat gonna help you go into the tree a little bit. These are very sharp, so be careful. It's not super heavy, but you are gonna need a battery. I've got kind of a bigger six amp hour battery, 20 volt max, and they slide in. There's what it looks like. The battery does add some weight to it, but it gives it kind of a good balance. Let's take the battery out. Got you. It's just a simple on-off switch with a lock. So you gotta press this button in, and then it'll go. It's got the kick lock. So when it's like that, it stops the blade. To make the blade go, it has to be released like that. All right, let's go around to the other side. This is the chained tensioner. So this is about how much tension you want on. Now you should use gloves, these are really sharp. But when you pull up on it, it, you shouldn't need a whole lot of effort to pull up on it and it should come up about an eighth of an inch. This is where you're gonna loosen it up and this is where you're gonna tighten the chain. So if yours doesn't come assembled, you'll have to put this all together. But this, you're gonna lift this up. You can put a Allen wrench in there. It's millimeter, but you're gonna lift that up and then turn this. I'm going to go ahead and take mine all the way off just to show you. It's got a diagram of how the chain should be going and on the, and on the bar. There's how the chain, the bar looks. Everything looks very well made. Now, granted, some of the, this is kind of plasticky on the actual chainsaw itself, but this is all metal. And this is how you adjust the tension. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it off. Your bar chain oil is gonna come through here. This is gonna be very important. You've got to put bar chain oil in, and then when you're running the chainsaw, it's gonna come through this little tube here. It's gonna come right here. Then it's gonna go inside the bar. So this little hole here, the chain, the, the, the lubricant bar chain is gonna go in that little hole, and that's how it's gonna lubricate this track. It's very important to keep your chain very well lubricated. Again, that's where it's gonna go. So when it's on there, you can see that hole lines up with where the bar chain oil is. So you will have to keep this area nice and clean. This will get quite a bit dirty, I'm sure. And the whole time you're doing this work, make sure the battery is out. Okay, so let's put the, let's put the bar and the chain on. Again, you've got a picture of how the chain should go. You can read the words DeWalt. We're going to put it on here that should go around that back. There, you want to get it, make sure it's in the track on the top and the bottom. Okay, so the chain is in the track and it's around this back here and it's positioned right. There's also another picture to show you how it should go. And you're going to take this, this is what this looks like slides over here. Now we got to tighten this down. Now before we tighten this all the way, so run it down all the way. You can run it down all the way. Now back it off just a little bit. Now we want to turn this to increase the tension. And it's got like a ratchet. It's going to stop. Check. Yeah, that's about right. Now finish tightening this. And that should snap close. Okay, so let's just put the battery in. You got a, this is the release. It's kind of 
kind of loud. It does have a break. Now, I'm not gonna run this super long. I'm gonna get some bar chain oil in there. No, definitely not gonna do any cutting. But again, just one speed. Either on or off. So I'm very, I'm very glad that the DeWalt manual kind of covers all of this and I've read through it. It's very good. It's a very good DeWalt manual. It's even got a couple pictures devoted to how you should chop trees and how you should cut limbs and even how you should sharpen the blades. Okay, so let's go over overall dimensions. It's right around 24 inches. So let's see, it says it's a 12 inch cut. Well, it's not quite 12 inches. The actual cutting is about 10 inches. Lengthwise, the blade is right around two and three quarters. The whole chainsaw is right around, oh, right around nine and a quarter, nine and a half. Widthwise, you're looking at about almost nine inches. It does have a nice feel, nice grip. This is real grippy right here. It does say that it's brushless. Okay, so I've got the chainsaw out in the shed here. You can use any of these batteries. Now, it's gonna work better if you use these big six amp hour batteries. It's just gonna uh, last a lot longer. I tried it with these smaller batteries. It just doesn't last very long. Even the power stack works. You can use these flex brew or these flex volt batteries, um, but these are meant for bigger equipment. Okay, so I've got some bar chain oil. We're gonna open it up and put it in here. Again, lift this up. Turn this, quarter turn, comes off, there's a little lanyard. Now, bar chain oil is very thick, so be very, just take your time with it. So it's very easy to put too much in there. Let it soak down a little bit. Okay, so now you're going to put this back on. Again, I put too much in there, so it's going to make a mess. Okay, so I've got my big six amp hour batteries charged up. That's how they look when they're installed. Again, let's put some gloves on. Anytime your hands are around that, try to have some gloves on. Now we've got the bar chain oil in. We've got the, the, the chain is tight to the proper tightness. Let's go cut some wood. So the main reason I got, I've got this chainsaw, these things are so heavy. They do a great job, but starting them can be hard. And I just wanted something, when you're cutting something small, um, I just wanted something a little more portable. Okay, so I've got lots of little branches on my property. Let's try these little branches. Here's some old wood, let's try it out. does a really good job. Okay, so here's some area I want to clean up. The deer run through here and a, an old tree branch fell down. Okay, so it's not too heavy. I mean, I'm, I'm really liking it. Okay, so one thing that just accidentally happened is the brake. So if it pops forward, your, your saw won't work. So make sure it's all the way this way. Okay, so let's keep trimming on this. This is dead wood, so this is kind of hard to cut. And my battery is still at three. Wow. So here's the cuts I made. Granted, this wasn't super hard wood, but it did a pretty good job cutting it. So I just gotta say, lugging this through the forest has been a pleasure. It is not very heavy. Oh my gosh, after you've been cutting with a chainsaw and then you gotta carry your chainsaw out. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy, but this one is not. 
so here I got a little tree. It's still alive, but a beaver got to it and it's kind of looking bad. So let's give it a try. Very nice, very easy. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get the stump. Yeah, that did an excellent job with the stump. Let's just see if we can So it looks like it did a good job of clearing out the chips. There was a bunch of saw chips. Let's see, can you see down in there? There was a bunch of saw, saw chips right down in this area. And it cleaned them out pretty good. Okay, so we've got this evasive species. It's not supposed to be in our forest. Let's see how it does with it. Yeah, this is really stubborn stuff. It's chopping it up very good. Okay, so let's see how it does down here. Wow, it does a good job. So this is exactly why I got it, to go around and get little things that aren't supposed to be in a forest. You can portable, it's portable, easy to handle. Okay, so I used this for about 15, 20 minutes. It did a great job. Um, never jammed on me once. Let's see what the battery's at. Okay, so the battery did go down one. That's not bad at all. So it was doing a pretty good job of getting the chunks out of here. There's a big opening underneath where that is and quite a few uh, saw chunks would come out. Okay, so one thing you're gonna have to keep an eye on is the level of the bar chain oil. Because normally on a gas one, when you put gas in it, you always put bar chain oil in it. But So remember when you change your battery, but I hardly used any bar chain oil there. But I can definitely tell there's some bar chain oil on the bar because I can see splatters of oil. So these things do kind of grip the tree. They're not like these big spikes you have on a normal chainsaw, but this, this chainsaw is night and day. Um, this thing gets so heavy after a while. And this one, it got a little heavy, but nothing compared to that. I'm very happy with this chainsaw. I'm very glad I got it. I'm gonna get an extra couple chains uh, so I can keep them nice and sharp and have them ready to go. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm very happy I got it.